Don't forget to press the subscribe button and click the bell icon to stay up to date with all our videos. Alright, so welcome back and in this tutorial we will be working on the basic UI and creating components and before that let's talk about how are we going to manage the state and which components will manage which states. So at this point you can see on the screen we have the main component or we can say the parent component which is the app component which will be responsible for the API calls. We will be having a couple of other components like the search component to get the string or text and the result component to display our result. So here as you can see the search term here if we have any search term let's say we have banana at this point so this banana will pass on to the parent and this parent will do an API call. Through an API call we are supposed to get a result. If we get the recipes we will get an array of result or we can get an error. So if you can see we can get a we can if we can get the results so it's supposed to pass it down we are supposed to pass it down to the result component as an array and in case if there are any errors we are supposed to pass those errors as well so we will be handling those stuff in this uh, tutorial in this series but for this video we will be uh, creating the components so let's st get started with the code and for this project we will be using materialize so if you are not familiar with materialize you should give it a try and we are going to talk about that in this video so all you might need to do is use these two cdns and you are supposed to add it into your index html which i have already done and this is a material icon uh, cdn which will be provided in this video as well so if you go for icons it will tell you that you are supposed to add this in order to access these icons. So let's get started with the uh, text input. But before that, let me create a couple of components. I already created this folder component and I have added the app.js in it. And this index is importing it from the app.js. So at any point if you guys are stuck somewhere and if you want any clarifications let us know in the comment below and we will be very much happy to help you guys so first of all let me create uh, in this component I'll have to create a couple of components so I'll create a search so first will be the folder name and then I'll have index.js second component will be result uh, file folder name and index.js okay so we will be working in the search at this moment so import or I can just use the functional component and do something like this I'll change it to arrow function so fat arrow function so at this point I can just use text or it's a materialized way of using it I'll have to follow that so I will try this one the first name one so to try that I'll have to use just this much of the code and I'll have to change the class to class name and one more stuff is in react or in gsx you are not supposed to keep any tags open so you are supposed to close the input tag as well in html that's fine but for react you cannot have any open tags so right now you might see something let me see if the server is running it is running and okay we haven't imported it into this file yet so let me remove everything and have a fresh start and first one will be search it's going to auto import 
which is great and you might see something perfect this is something what we are expecting at the moment so uh, let me even add the surrounding like rows and columns so it makes it beautiful so I'll have to add closing div closing form and a closing div again I guess yeah okay so this should work and 12 is perfect so this guy we might need a 12 so instead of app I can have done the same thing and search I, I made a mistake there so uh, I'm going to take the whole thing and change it back to the regular search. Search. And in the search one, I'll just add this guy and we'll remove search from here put in this okay I'll have to change the classes to class name so bear with me on that and I think we are good to go so let's try this okay so see it's aligned so these are some things that we are supposed to do okay so we won't care too much about the color because we know that we can change it so we don't really care about it but we will need to add a button at the end so let's go ahead and find a button if we have something over here or else we can just go into the button and grab a good button from here and it could be something like this so we can have it at the end of the form so let's see how do we get is it in the next line or what so this is not what we are expecting so I can how is this div structure okay it's in the same row this div is in the same row so maybe if I can put this uh, okay form is column so here I might have to create another div or I should say a couple of divs and I'll have class name call as let's say 10 oh, not 19 it's, a, it's supposed to be between 12 so as 10 and I'll have this as 2 so if you don't know this uh, width is supposed to match it with 12 because it's divided into 12 sections so uh, it's a boot bootstrap thing that they started doing it and yeah we are supposed to make it in 12 portions so if I add it over here and if I add the button submit button I'll have to grab the whole thing and this should look right and it should be in the same line and we can adjust the height it's not a problem so this is great this is great something that we expect and okay let's see in the app component we are supposed to get the search term at this point so let's create a couple of states search term and set search term we'll have to use use effect uh, sorry use state so it's going to auto import which is great and it's going to be empty in the beginning and we can do this we can try what do we get here so search term and as you know we will need to update this one from the child we are supposed to pass in a callback function so 
uh, I'll have to create a function. I'll name it um, instead of naming it because this already is a function. So let me pass the same thing here. Set search term equals to set search term and in the search term I get set search term which is a prop so I just destructured it and in this input I can do it like on or maybe like not on change but if I do on change it's not bad because what it's going to do is it's going to for every change it's going to pass in to the parent and just because I have a button here I do have the flexibility to just do one API call instead of a bunch of API calls so uh, I'll explain this thing but at this moment let's have another state here as well constant search uh, this is a bad thing that we have like uh, two search terms but yeah that's all right set mm, I'll name it differently so mm, string I'll just name it set string and use state on change we don't have on change text like in react native but yeah that is a bit advanced so it's all right event and set string will be equal to event dot target dot value and the good thing is whenever we press on a button on click we will change the state uh, we will not change the state we will pass on the state of this particular uh, component into the parent so let's do this uh, I'll just pass on this set search term to string okay so but before that I'll have to do one more thing and it's gonna be value and this will be string initially it will be empty and used it I think it didn't import itself but now it did so which is great let's try what do we get here so initially it's empty it was empty and if I submit it did pass on to the parent but there is an issue and that issue is about the event listener so what I'll have to do is I'll have to change or not change but pass in a function and I'll have to prevent default the event so const on submit and this submit is going to take in a parameter which is event and event dot prevent default so this is going to stop the auto reload because the problem is it is wrapped in a form so if anything is wrapped in a form it's gonna behave in a default way so if you want to check you can just do this I take it out of the form and most probably it's not gonna create any issue but let's see I pass in green see it is not creating an issue but form if you wrap it wrap it in a form it's gonna create an issue because what happens is this is a submit button so the type is submit so even if you press click enter it's gonna go through 
So to handle that, we are supposed to do the prevent default. We are uh, we need to do that. And after the prevent default, we can set the string. So I can take this off and I'll put this here and yeah, okay, let me call the on submit. So let's try. What do we get? Hello. So we still have an issue. So I think I'll need to have an on submit on the form as well. On submit. On submit. Let's see. Okay. All oh, right. There's some issue. Prevent default of undefined. So on submit. Oh, okay. Because we are not passing that event in this one. So we are supposed to pass in an event, and I think we are doing the same thing. We are not passing an event at this point. So in order to do that, we are supposed to pass in an event. So it's throwing some error and okay, as a typo. Okay, submit, which is working great. Hello, perfect. So right now we saw that we are passing the states and uh, states to parent in a really good manner. So in the next video, we will start working on the API call. So stay tuned and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.